So we're going to be doing five spooky tutorials on how to add that extra spooky edge to your video. The next effect we're going to do is how to make fake lightning to add a little bit more tension to your already drama-filled horror. Alrighty, so we're in Movie Studio 16 Platinum and we're going to simulate a thunderstorm. And so the way you do this is first you got to get your source stuff and let's watch it. Your video. The next effect we're going to do is how to make fake lightning to add a little bit more tension. See that? So there's just really no, there's nothing here. There's no thunderstorm here. It's just me talking to a camera in front of a black, a black sheet, really. And uh, that's 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 not a thunderstorm. So first I got some sound effects and I got all of these sound effects from YouTube audio library and that's just rights free sound effects you can use for any of your YouTube videos provided to you by YouTube and you just download what you need. So I downloaded Heavy Rain. Uh, that is first going to create, let me delete some of this off of the end of the track. If you have any trouble um, with simple things like deleting and scooting stuff around, I would totally recommend checking out my entry level uh, video tutorials and uh, I got I got a whole playlist of that so check those out if you're if you're wondering how to do anything like delete or fade so um, now we've got some rain let's listen to it I just added that rain in the track below your video so it's got a rain sound but it's too loud we're gonna grab the gain we're actually gonna turn that down way down and now listen to it your video the next effect we're going to do is how to make fake lightning so the rain sounds a lot better, but it's still adding volume. And because I pre-rendered this out, I've already had it kind of to the max of my master. So we got to be watching this master slide over here. This is all of our volume together. How to make fake light. And see, it peaks right there. When I say how, it, it, it peaks uh, at point one. And that's, okay, what we're going to do is dial back my dialogue just a little bit. So that way um, it, it can handle some of the extra sound effects we're adding in. Is how to make fake lightning. And that fixes that issue. So the next thing we're going to do is add in some distant thunder. And we're going to have to drag that to the timeline, right click, and hit insert audio track again. And we're going to scroll down here and then slide this underneath it all the way to the start. And cut off the end of this here. And see how this sounds. Five spooky tutorials on how to add that extra spooky edge to your video. So that sound effect kind of comes in just right exactly where I want it when it comes to uh, how how bassy it is and how loud it is and things like that. It kind of just sounds perfect. How to add that extra spooky edge to your video. The next so that now between the rain and some distant rolling thunder, we kind of built a good thunderstorm scene, but I want that big shocking thunder crack. So I got this big thunder crack right here, and uh, some, you can create an audio track just by sometimes dragging to the empty space, and it'll create an audio track that way as well. So I'm going to drag that down there, and right about here is when I say lightning. lightning. And I want it to crack right after I say lightning. Lightning. Add a little bit more tension to your already drama-filled so there's some problem with this effect though. The best sound effect I could find uh, in a short amount of time, this sound effect is very distant. Add a little bit more tension. It's got this old lightning feel to it because it doesn't have any bass. Here's a rule of audio effects, really just a rule of audio. The closer it is to you or the closer it is to the mic really is the bassier it is. That's true. If someone whispers in your ear, it sounds real bassy. That's just how it is. Um, and, and so to simulate that, if you want the thunder crack to actually sound close and present, you got to add some bass. You can do that by right-clicking on the sound effect and hitting uh, audio or apply non real-time effect and be working through it this way. What we're going to do is we're going to actually go to the track because this, this will affect the entire track, but this is how I want to do it. And I'm going to go to track effect, and then I'm going to go to uh, track EQ right here. And I'm going to raise the bass of this EQ. And you're gonna, you can play with it. You know, you can kind of raise up what's a little more than the bass, or just a little bit, depending on what your sound effect is and what you need to do. But uh, I'm gonna raise it to about here because this is what what I know it needs uh, from the been working with it all morning. Add a little bit more tension to your. And that's a much better thunder crack. That's a much better thunder crack for what we're doing. So you can see again, it peaks. You look up here. This actually makes the audio peak. And that's good for the thunder crack. I don't want it to peak that much. I really just want it to peak about one. So if I lower the gain 1.8, let's see. 
have a little bit more tension. There we go. It peaks just a little bit and uh, maybe just a little bit lower. To add a little bit more tension to your already drama film. There. And it gives just a touch of peaking, and I want that because what peaking is is when you have too much audio, it's too loud for the mic. And it actually has to crunch that information up, and it actually distorts the information. Too much distortion is bad. A little bit can help fake the fact that this thunder crack caught us off guard. And so let's say we're filming this thing, and we got a microphone out. That microphone's leveled for my voice. If it's going to sound loud, it actually needs to sound like it was too loud for the mic. Add a little bit more. And, and I want there to be a distinction between my voice and that, because if I want it to scare you, if I want it to pow, scare you, it's got to be suddenly loud. Like fake lightning. And add a little bit more tension. And there, that's part of it. We've now built the sound. But what we need to do next is add the actual light effects to make the thunder uh, feel real. And so that's actually pretty easy. We're going to right-click on this picture-in-picture -picture track, and we're going to delete it because it's in our way. We're going to delete the picture and picture track and then we're going to right click and hit insert video track. Now we got a video track above it that we're going to use and we're going to go to media generators and you're going to go to solid color and you're going to open it up and it's going to already give you a white. I just double clicked and it popped a white solid color right there on my timeline. And we're going to find the spot where the lightning starts and what I mean I don't mean where this starts I mean right where the the waveform starts and I want you to zoom in I want you to find the frame where it starts this is a little too soon this is just right right here find that frame and then scroll up and make sure your white starts and ends on that frame so you scroll it in to one frame one frame and I mean one. See, anything smaller doesn't exist. One frame of video. This is a 30 frames per second video, so this is 1 30th of a second, which is what we're pretending has happened is the light has overcome the camera. It's an overexposure, right? And so light shoots through the window from the lightning and it overexposes the camera just for a moment. So that overexposure we just lower the opacity here. If you have it at the beginning of the clip, you can see it. If you lower the opacity, you can kind of it kind of creates an overexposure kind of look. Now, this is so subtle and small. This wouldn't pass for a long term. If someone's trying to study this footage and see if it's overexposed or whatever, it wouldn't quite look overexposed. But a sudden flash, your eye won't be able to make out what this was. And so you can see here, it seems like there's a sudden crack of light. Add a little bit more tension. Now, because you can actually, you can still see through it, but it just suddenly flashes. Now, that's still not quite right, though, because lightning doesn't really just have a single flash of light. It kind of rolls. It has multiple bolts and, and everything. So we're going to right-click, copy, right-click on a frame away, and paste. And then we're going to create a new copy. You don't want to create a reference. That'll affect both of them anytime you make any edits. You don't want to do that. Create a new copy. Hit OK. And then so now if you if you arrow through it, you'll see it flashes twice because there is flash, break, flash. Now let's watch that. Let's watch that. Add a little bit more tension. And you can you can space them out a little bit. Add a little but I think that makes it a little bit too robotic for this shot and with that sound effect. I think this is where it, it better sits. Add a little bit more tension. But the second one, I don't want it to be the same tension it's the same brightness. I want it to be actually less bright, as if or or maybe you can even do it to where this one's more bright and this one's less bright. There we go, I like that. Add a little bit more tension. And that makes it feel like a thunder crack. Now let's go ahead and grab this one right here. Right click, copy. And let's go up to where we have the thunder rolls earlier. I'm gonna make fake lightning. So let's zoom back out. I'm using a scroll wheel, I'm zooming back out. I'm finding here in the timeline where I have the fake light thunder starting. I'm gonna add that extra spooky. And so that's the distant thunder rolls. We want to add a little bit of light there too, as if there's lightning out in the distance coming through the window. And we're going to add a couple more of this this footage. And again, we got to find the exact frame this starts on. So it starts right there. So this needs to start right there and have a gap again. And for this one, it's so far away. I want the opacity just to be five percent. We're going to lower it to five percent. 
And now let's watch that thunder roll. How to add that. Look at that little flutter. How to add that. You can even right click and copy, right click and paste. How to add that extra. And give it a few more frames down and give it that, that light flickering look. How to add that extra spooky edge. And you can go down and add more throughout here anytime you have a thunder crack. And that is how to simulate a thunderstorm, how to add lightning to your shot. So let me know. If you make anything cool with this, uh, please let me know. Uh, tell me about it in the comments. I would love to see what you guys are doing with this stuff. Uh, thank you so much for watching. we got three more spooky tutorials left. And happy Halloween. This has been Adam with uh, Tech Dive AV Club. And I appreciate everything you guys have been doing. Our subs are rising real quick. And, and I can't thank you enough for all of that. See you next time.